This is the new Photon D2 from Anycubic, a budget-friendly DLP resin printer. Boasting a build volume of 130 by 73 millimeters on the X and Y, and 165 millimeters on the Z-axis. Anycubic worked closely with Texas Instruments to implement their DLP technology in this printer. But what is DLP? It stands for Digital Light Processing, and instead of using an array of LEDs to shine through a traditional masking LCD, it uses projective light. Thousands of tiny mirrors concentrate the light onto a larger mirror and up onto the bottom of the resin vat to harden the resin with less diffusion and higher precision. For my testing, I used Anycubic's Photon Workshop software and the recommended settings for their Craftman resin. And I ran a few exposure tests just to confirm those were correct as well. I also kept anti-aliasing off. First, I printed this Blade Runner unicorn. To clean and cure my prints, I used a bath of isopropyl and a brush to remove the majority of the uncured resin, followed by a clean isopropyl spray. I use this resin hardening flashlight to cure the model. This came out great and after a quick layer of paint looks perfect. Next I printed this Pi pencil cup. It's comprised of the first handful of digits of Pi and I printed with no issues. So what are the benefits of DLP technology? The first major advantage is the lifespan. A masking LCD has a lifespan of 2000 hours, and if you print eight hours a day, that's less than a year. The DLP projector has a lifespan of 20,000 hours. Another huge advantage is energy consumption. This machine uses a total of 15 watts, and with lower energy usage comes lower thermal output, meaning this unit is cooled passively. No more noisy LED cooling fans, and the only sounds I heard from this machine during testing was a single stepper motor and the satisfying peeling sound of each layer releasing from the FEP sheet at the bottom of the vat. Next, I wanted to try this green translucent resin. I found an awesome model of Homer holding a nuclear rod from Chaos Cortec. This came out great, but I did have a support fail on one of his hands. Regardless, the surface finish here in this translucent green resin is excellent. If you're interested in this machine, I'll leave a link in the description where you can check out more details. Big thanks to Anycubic for sending this machine in exchange for an honest review. And as always, thanks for watching and happy printing.